Nats True Crime Podcast, and I'm going to talk about Juan Rodrigo Jock Bucara on August 23rd, 1943 in San Antonio, Texas. Rodney James Alcala was a American serial killer who murdered at least eight women between 1971 and 1979. Rodney Alcala appeared on the dating game, a dating game show, and is sometimes referred to as the dating game killer. Cheryl Bradshaw was his date game date that she thought he was too creepy to and refused to go on future dates with him. Rodney Akella was a serial killer who would strangle his victims, revive them, and repeat the process until he got bored and would kill them. The authorities found over 1,000 images of women in many sexual poses and it is unknown how many of the women he has killed. Rodney Alcala victims 1971 to 1977. Rodney Alcala's first known murder victim is Cornelia Crilly. She was sexually assaulted and strangled with a stalking in her New York apartment on June 12, 1971. Rodney Akala was indicted for her murder in 2001 after his bite mark was matched to one left on her body. He pleaded guilty to her murder in 2013 and was sentenced to a additionally 25 years. Ellen Jane Hover was the daughter of a wealthy nightclub owner who went missing from her New York apartment on July 16th 1977 in her diary was a note that she was due to meet a photographer John Berger a alias of Ronnie Alcala Alcala was questioned by police in December 1977 but released as they was no evidence. A year later, Ellen Hover's body was discovered in a shallow grave in the Rockefeller State in Mount Pleasant, New York, and autopsy ruled her death as a homicide and a color was known to bring females to this area for photographs sessions. Do the evidence. Akala was indicted for her murder in 2011. He pled guilty in 2013 and was sentenced to a additionally 25 years. The body of Jill Baco was discovered on the 10th of November 1977. She was found in the Hollywood Hills. She had been sexually assaulted, bludgeoned with a blunt object and strangled with a pair of 
trousers. Still, 2005, she was believed to have been a victim of the hillside strangler, and the color was linked to the crime by DNA evidence in 2005. Georgia Wixted was a nurse whose body was found in her apartment on December 16, 1977. She had been sexually assaulted and bludgeoned with a hammer and was strangled with a nylon stocking. 1978 to 1979. In June 1978, Charlotte Lamb was murdered by Rodney Alcala and her body was placed in a in the laundry room of a apartment block she had been sexually assaulted and strangled with a shoelace. Rodney Alcala was linked to her murder after her DNA was found on a earring found in his storage locker. 21 year old Jail Parento was sexually assaulted and murdered following a break in at her home in June 1979. Akala had cut himself while crawling through the window and left blood at the scene at the time he, he was a suspect after a blood match but the charges were dropped dismissed on June 20th 1979 Rodney Akala took photos of Robin Samso and a friend on the beach but a concerned adult checked up on the girls and Robin took off on her bike. Robin never arrived at her ballet class and her body was discovered 12 days later dumped at the side of the road. A police sketch was made by witnesses at the beach and he was recognized by his parole officer. He was arrested at his mother's home where they later found a receipt for a storage locker he had recently rent rented. He has been convicted of the crime three times with two of the convictions overturned in 1980 and 2001. In the storage locker they found thousands of Rodney's Akala's photos of young girls and women in a pouch of earrings. A part of the earrings were identified by Robin's mother as belonging to Robin. The last confirmed murder by Roddy Alcala is Christine Ruth Thornton. He was charged in 2016 for her killing in 2013, police released a catalog of Akala's photographs and she was identified by her sister. Christine had 
disappeared in 1977 and her remains were discovered in 1982 close to where the photographs were taken. The photographs identification led to a DNA test on the remains in 2015, identifying them as Christine. Due to ill health, he has never been extradited to Wyoming to stand trial for her murder. Akala admitted taking the photos, but denies the murder. Despite his DNA being found on her remains. Monique Hoyt was a Rodney Alcala survivor and testified at Rodney Alcala's trial. She managed to escape from Alcala after bravely befriending him after he had photographed, hit, and sexually assaulted her. Suspected Alcala victims. The Alcala was linked to the murder of Antoinette Wittaker. She was last seen leaving her house with a man who matches Alcala's appearance on July 7th, 1977. Her body was discovered in a vacant lot she had been stabbed to death and was posed fully clothed. Pamela Jean Lanson dis disappeared after planning to meet a photographer. Her nude body was found on a hiking trail. She had been beaten and strangled. Due to the lack of physical evidence, Akala has never been charged with the crime, but due to the nature of the crime, authorities strongly believe Akala was responsible. The body of Joyce Gaunt was discovered in a picnic area on February 7, 1978. She had been beaten and sexually assaulted and strangled because of the his nature of the crime and posed her of the body. The killer has been considered as being committed by a cow. Other expected victims include Cherry Greenman, missing since 1976, who bears a resemblance to a one of Rodney's a cow's photos from his story clock. Early crimes in 1968, Ronnie Akawa lured Charlie Shapiro into his apartment. He, this was seen by a witness who reported the crime to the police, but they arrived too late. Police found Charlie in his apartment. She had been sexually assaulted and beaten with a steel pipe. Akala had fled the scene, landing him a place on the FBI's most wanted list. By the time he was captured, the Shapiro family had fled the country 
refused to testify and he was charged with the lesser crime of child molestation. He was sentenced for one to life and was guaranteed parole after serving 34 months. Rodney Akala was further conviction of a parole violation for providing marijuana to a minor in 1974, Taya was a witness in at late Akala's trial, later Akala's trial. Media, a Roddy Akala movie, The Dating Game Killer, was released in 2017. Thanks for watching my podcast. Please like, subscribe, and comment.